Hello, everybody. Uh, this is National Chess Master Mike Jolson of Progress with Chess. Today, I want to uh, go over with you uh, a theme that oftentimes is used to win material. Uh, it's one of the most famous tactical themes there is. It's called pins, pinning. Uh, except this time, we're going to show how this tactical theme can be used to create checkmate. And uh, the game we're going to be going over today is uh, a game that's uh, I played in, in one of my games, but it's also a, uh, a common theoretical position in the Rye Lopez, the Marshall Gambit variation. Okay, this move initiates the martial gambit. Black sacrifices a pawn in order to, to gain uh, a lead in development based on the fact that white's queen knight and queen bishop are not going to be able to get out very quickly. So now black has the initiative as compensation for being down one pawn. Okay, so note now, black has come to a, a, a crisis point in the game. He'll either have to make a move uh, to continue the attack or further sacrifice material in order to continue the initiative, which he does with knight takes f2. But now black makes a major mistake, which leads to his demise. At first glance, this move looks like a great move because it looks like the queen has to move out of the way and then black regains the rook, and then black will have a rook for a minor piece and a pawn plus good development. But unfortunately, this move doesn't work. And a lot of players uh, don't realize that there's these tactical themes until they're actually confronted with them. And then sometimes it's too late. So here, white wins the game by taking advantage of the, of the pin piece to create checkmate with the uh, exclamation mark move, queen takes f7 check. Now black has two choices. He can, if he moves the king to the corner, obviously queen takes rook mate. So the only move that makes any sense is to go rook takes queen, and then rook to e8 mate, taking advantage of the pin piece. A lot of times these kinds of themes come up in the notes of games, but they don't actually get played because all the, uh, the strong players that are playing these games know these themes and then therefore avoid them. But that doesn't mean that they're not a part of the overall strategy that needs to be understood. Now, black had a much better move here than to go bishop g3 right away. And that was to go bishop h2 check right away. Now, of course, the king cannot go to h1 because of queen takes queen. So the king must go to f1. But because the queen uh, is still thinking about taking the pawn... But, but here it's not going to be effective because when the rook captures, it's going to be with check. So now when the bishop goes to g3, queen takes pawn is not possible because the rook would take the queen with check, forcing uh, bishop takes rook and then black wins. So 
White has to instead move the king, move the queen to, G, to D2. And then a complicated position ensues. Although I still think objectively here, white is better uh, because white is, is ahead by a piece. And even though there's uh, possible sacri sacrifices in the, in the air with uh, bishop takes h3, I still like white's position. But it's definitely much preferred to blundering the game away with queen g3 and being unsuspecting of the of the fact that this move cannot be played because of the uh, the ability to take advantage of the pin with queen takes f7 check so this is a good example of how how uh, pins are not only used for gaining material but for creating checkmates